Good morning, class 4-3. Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson in period four on Monday, February 1st, 2021. I hope everyone is doing safe and well, and I hope you've had a great morning studying so far. Now, last week we started a new unit. The unit we have started is comparing with more and most. We learned for long adjectives, use more and most to compare people, places, or things. We also learned to use more to compare two people, two places, or two things. Finally, we learned to use most to compare more than two. For our activity, we had to write more or most to complete each sentence correctly. We did numbers one and two together. Let's go over the answers for numbers three through 12. Let's begin. Three, he made the blank interesting collage I have ever seen. He made the most interesting collage I have ever seen. Remember, a hint for using most is when you see the phrase, I have ever seen or of all. Number four, New York City is blank exciting than my hometown. New York City is more exciting than my hometown. We are comparing New York City with my hometown, two places. Five, but for me, North Carolina will always be the blank comfortable place in the world. But for me, North Carolina will always be the most comfortable place in the world. In the world is our hint for using most. Six, Uncle Romy's studio was the blank glorious mess I had ever seen, ever seen. Uncle Romy's studio was the most glorious mess I have ever seen. Seven, I thought my birthday would be blank pleasant if Aunt Nanette were there. I thought my birthday would be more pleasant if Aunt Nanette were there. Number eight, this birthday turned out to be the blank special birthday ever. There's that word ever again. This birthday turned out to be the most Special birthday ever. Nine, Uncle Romy was blank familiar with New York baseball teams than I was. Uncle Romy was more familiar with New York baseball teams than I was, comparing Uncle Romy and I. Ten, this summer vacation was blank enjoyable than last year's vacation. This summer vacation was more enjoyable than last year's vacation. We are comparing this summer vacation with last year's summer vacation. 11, could this get blank exciting than yesterday? Could this get more exciting than yesterday? Comparing two things. Finally, 12. This is the blank fun I've ever had. This is a key word again, ever. This is the most fun I've ever had. Okay. 
and you had to write two sentences using the word more and two sentences using the word most. After you've checked your answers, please go on to page 148. So what we learned on this page, we learned when you use more or most, do not use the ending ER or EST. For this activity, we had to rewrite each sentence. We had to use the correct form of the adjective. We did numbers one and two together. Let's check the answers for numbers three through eight. Let's begin. Number three. At first, Aunt Nanette seemed more caringer than Uncle Romy. That is wrong. It should simply be more caring. So take that ear out. And let's rewrite. At first, Aunt Nanette. I like the name Nanette, do you? Seemed more caring. Then, Uncle Romy. There we go. Number four. My visit to my grandparents' house is the most peacefulest time I can remember. That should be most peaceful, no E-S-T. So let's rewrite. My visit. To my grandparents. House is the most peaceful time I can remember. Number five. My aunt and uncle are most importanter to me than they used to be. Oh dear. That should be more, and this should be important, more important. My aunt and uncle are more important to me than they used to be. There we go. Number six, Uncle Romy is the most artisticist person I know. No E-S-T, it is simply artistic. Let's rewrite. Uncle Romy is the most artistic person I know. Who's the most artistic person you know, students? Number seven. I was more carefuler with this collage than I usually am. More carefuler? No, 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 E-R. More careful. I was more 
careful with this collage. Then I usually am. Okay. Now let's look at number 10. Oops, sorry, number eight. My mother makes the more excellentest pepper jelly I have ever tasted. More excellentest? More is wrong. That should be most. And excellentest, there's no EST. Let's rewrite. My mother. I'll circle that mistake. Makes the most excellent pepper jelly. I have ever tasted pepper jelly. That sounds interesting. Would you like to try pepper jelly, students? I think I would. What would you put pepper jelly on? Toast? I don't know. Okay, so here are your answers for this activity. Once you have stopped the video and checked it, You'll want to move on to the next page for this today's activities on pages 149 and 150. Proofreading, my favorite, yay. All right, please listen carefully as I read each point. Point number one, for long adjectives, Use more and most to compare people, places, or things. Use more to compare two people, places, or things. Use most to compare more than two. Here are the directions for today's activity. Rewrite each sentence in the introduction speech below. Remember to use more and most correctly with adjectives. Use a comma after an introductory word used at the beginning of a sentence. Use a comma when the first word in the sentence addresses someone by name. Okay. Now, listen as I read the speech, and please feel free to read along. Class, I would like to introduce my Uncle Romy to you. I met him last summer when I visited New York. He is the most creativist, most imaginativist, person I know. His work is more unusualer and more powerfuler than any painting in a museum. Is he a painter? Is he a photographer? Is he a writer? No, he's all of those at once. He puts paint, pictures, newspapers, magazines, and other things together to make the most amazing collages. His collage of Harlem is the more joyfulest picture I've ever seen. Yes, I have also started making collages just like Uncle Romy. Now, 
Let's do a few of the sentences together. Class. The first thing we need to do is to put a comma after class because it is an introductory word at the beginning of a sentence. Class, I would like to introduce my Uncle Romy to you. So let's begin writing. Class, comma, I would like to introduce my uncle Romy to you. Next, I met him last summer when I visited New York. No mistakes. So let's just copy. I met him last summer when I visited New York. Next, he is the most creativist. Ah, oh, there's a mistake. Most creative, no EST, so let's put an X. Most imaginativist. Now, imaginative, you just need to take out the ST. Most imaginative person I know. So let's rewrite. He is the most creative most imaginative person I know okay and let's do one more together his work is more unusual -er. it should be more unusual no er and more powerful -er. more powerful -er, that should not be er than any painting in a museum so what i think we need to do is i think we need to change this to most most unusual and most powerful than any painting in a museum because you're going to be comparing more than two. So let's rewrite. His work, move this up a bit. His work is most unusual and most powerful than any painting in a museum. Okay. And I'm going to stop here. I'm going to let you find the other mistakes on your own and finish writing this paragraph. We will go over the rest of the answers in Thursday's class. In the meantime, please turn now to page 150. Okay, let me just fold this down. There we go. Mechanics. Please listen as I read through each of the points. Point one. When you start a sentence with an introductory word, 
that is not part of the complete subject or predicate, follow it with a comma. So we talked about that in the last activity. Some common introductory words are yes, no, and well. Point number three. When the sentence begins by addressing someone by name, use a comma after the name. Directions. Rewrite the sentences below correctly. Use a comma after any introductory word or name. Please listen as I read each sentence. 1. BJ, the train is coming now. 2. Well, New York will certainly be different from North Carolina. 3. Uncle Romy, did you make that project? 4. Yes, I worked on it for months. 5. James, I'm pleased to meet you. 6. Aunt Nanette, I will miss you tomorrow. 7. No, I am sorry, but I cannot come to your party. 8. Mama, I missed you so much. 9. Yes, I brought you a jar of pepper jelly. 10. No, we did not expect to have twins. Now let's do a few together. One, BJ is a person's name. So BJ, comma, the train is coming now. Let's rewrite. BJ, the train is coming now. Two, well, we need a comma after well because it is an introductory word. Well, New York will certainly be different from North Carolina. Let's rewrite. Okay, so this is also very good practice for you students to learn to use commas correctly and using commas with introductory words, introductory words and names. Oops. Let's push that down, make it a little bit easier for me to write. Okay. From North Carolina. So I'm out of space, so I need to go to the next line. Okay, we'll do one more together. Uncle Romy, did you make that project? Uncle Romy is a name. We put a comma after it. Uncle Romy, comma, did you make... That project, there we go. And that's it for today's activities. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all will make the corrections that need to be made. And if you have any questions, you can email me at any time. I'm always available to help. Take care, stay safe, and be well. And I will see you after lunch, if you're going to eat lunch now, for our lesson in period five. Bye-bye for now.